Hi crafters, this is Lorene with Create with Lorene and today we'll be doing this project kit. It's called Tin of Cards Project Kit and everything you see here is included in this tin of cans. So there's four different designs. You can make a total of 16 cards and the tabs and it comes with this. everything is in the tin. All you'll need is your own adhesives, your um, ink pads. Okay, so let me show you. This is the Tin of Cards Project Kit and you'll be able to find it on page 152. It's item number 138, 378 and it's $27. Okay. There is a coordinating stamp set and that is on page 110. It's called Tin of Cards. It does have 20 photopolymer stamps. That's item 138946. And that this is the stamp set. Got all of these stamps, photopolymer stamps in here. And also the it coordinates with the file tabs edgelet dies. Yet you can find on page 172, that is item number 133729. And this is just in case if you want to make more tabs to go into your tin. Okay. Okay. This is the tin that you'll be that uh, will be coming to you. And when you open it up, well, of course it's blank. Right now it's because oops. Everything is right here. So everything you see here is what came in this tin can. Okay. Hi crafters, okay, I'm back. Okay, so right now we're going to be making this first card, a happy birthday. And I've got everything that I'll be needing for this card along with my snail adhesive. So what you'll be needing is one of these wood pieces, wood accent pieces. And then you'll be needing one of the glitter hearts. Okay, so Get one of these and this all comes in the kit and these are already die cut so all you need to do is punch them out okay I'll put this away later then you're gonna need one of you're gonna need the plus sign stamp that's this one here and then your happy birthday stamp okay. that's this guy here Okay, and your card base, one of these, and these are all die cuts that you just punch them out. Okay, and only thing not included in the kit is your snail adhesive and your ink pad. Okay, so let's get started. So this looks fairly um, simple to do. So it shows, <coughs> excuse me. Let's do some stamping first. So let's put our happy birthday on there. Stamp up wood piece. Make sure you get a good supply of ink on there. And I'm going to stamp that right on here oops okay, there you go happy birthday okay, put that away change it up a bit and give it a little bit more definition the edges of the wood accent piece and if I don't like it I can always just flip it around and make it talk that way instead of the word bubble accent on the, on the bottom or what we can do is try the back and see how we, we like it if we don't if it looks okay then flip it over and you can do the top oh okay I just like to give it a little bit more definition Okay, so that stamping is done. Let's go ahead and put this on our card base. And get your snail adhesive. Okay, 
it looks like they're going about center of the card but I'm gonna go a little bit more down okay. right across and then they're using the plus sign and going along the edges of that strip that we just put on there so let's ink that up I'm sorry, might get my head in here so I can see where I'm stamping. Okay. And just try and line them up. Okay, it's a little bit more you need. Okay. I'm trying not to get my head in the video so I can't really see where I'm stamping. If you want to really get a streak, you can use the stamp of my jig and uh, position that so you can get a straight line. But with the connection part, it's not going to really matter because this guy will be covering. Okay, so and okay, it says to adhere using the stamping dimensionals. So let's go ahead and do that. This again does not come in the, the kit. You would have to. I purchase separately. Okay. okay, let's put that. And it's stuck to my finger. Okay, so let's put that right on here. Okay, and then I'm gonna snail adhesive this onto there. And that's it to this card. So this card is done. Okay crafters, I'm back with all the supplies we'll be needing to make this card. But I'm not going to be making it as a congrats card. I'm going to change it up into a thank you card. So let's get started. Okay. What we'll be needing is they come with all of these um, greetings, all die cut. I'm going to take my thank you. Okay, put the rest away. Okay, and it comes with this gold foil piece. Then you're gonna need your stamp from your stamp set. So I took the thanks because I'm making the thank you card. So I took the thanks. Okay, then it comes with this gold foil piece, and we'll, you'd need to punch out all of these. Uh, right I guess long strips. So let me be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've punched out all except one so I could show you just how easy it is to punch them out. Okay. Okay, and you can keep these scraps to, for another project. Okay, then you'll be placing them on your clear white base that's given. Time's sake, I already put snail adhesive in the back. So, all you'll be doing is placing him on here. And I'm getting the glare from my light. So, place it on there. And that on there. And then, let's stamp the thanks around on the card. So again, I'll grab my stays on. And with this stays on, you can't stamp on the gold foil. So it would help if I had to stamp in the right direction. Okay. So let's go ahead and place them. Okay. Then, then what we're gonna do is put the stamping dimensionals in the back of that. So one, two, three, okay, remove the backing, okay. and then 
that's I don't want to see the edge so put that there then we're gonna and that goes that way okay so just so you have this is not even or oh, there okay let's put it more like that move him more this way okay Then we just place him on top here. Okay, like so. Okay, then we can put some of the stars. The star epoxy. And ooh, they all look like gold. Okay. Put it about here. Oh, let's go one up. I already have one up there. Okay, go there. And let's go here. Okay, so that's card number two. King Crafters, right? I'm back. And we're going to be making this card here. So I've got all the supplies here. And I'm going to keep it as a hello card. So I've got my hello stamp, my background, some of our uh, yellow heart epoxy, our die cut, banner die cut, our base, and our mint macaron ink pad. Okay. So what we're going to do is first, don't forget to punch out this little die cut heart first, and we're going to be adhering this DSP to the back of the front, to time's sake, I've already done that. Okay, so all you did, all I did was punch out the heart, adhere that this DSP to the front of the card base. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp this hello stamp on one of the banner piece, die cut pieces. Okay, and I'm going to stamp it. right on there okay and punch this out okay. attach this with stamping on stamping up dimensionals let's go right here and I pulled the backing off but I did not grab the dimensional. Okay. okay. And we're putting it right here on the bottom. Let's see, they're overlapping it, so let's just go about here. Okay, yeah, we're almost done with this card. Okay. Take one of the heart pieces and I guess it doesn't matter which one. Let's take the big guy. Oh, but that's big, so let's go with the smaller guy. And do they have it in the center? No, they're placing it right on the side. Okay, right on the side. And they have some more small pieces of the hearts. All over. Okay, like that. Oops. Let me see if I can move that a little. They're both facing the same direction and go that way okay all I did was get a little piercing tool tool and poke underneath to release the adhesive and that's it to our card number three okay stampers I'm back with the supplies we'll be needing to make this card next the butterfly card and this is what it looks like okay so let's get started okay we'll be needing a card base that already has the cutout for our dotted vellum piece. We'll be adhering this to the back here. Okay. Then looks like we'll be stamping on the top and the bottom with this stamp here. And 
we'll be needing one of these die cut pieces as you can see that's why thank you and we'll be needing our butterflies one of these butterflies that punching out all of these die cut pieces one of these small butterflies and one of these um, medium sized butterflies and punching out all these die pieces and this is the backing for the large and the medium sized butterfly that will be the backing piece and the, for the large butterfly seems like we'll be stamping in the back of it and here adhering all of these pieces together so let's get started for time's sake I've already punched out the butterfly piece we need and the medium sized butterfly and I've already adhered it to the backing piece punched out the small butterfly and I've already got the back piece for the large butterfly and I've stamped it with our thank you stamp okay so we'll be adhering the top butterfly to the backing and just nail adhes adhesive the back here so it will be like a floating butterfly on top of here and I've got a little piece of the thread the gold thread that they is also included in the kit and all I did was run a piece of snail adhesive in the back and place, place the thread in the back. Okay, so let's adhere this piece to that. And I'm going to use the Tombow glue. I know it says, let's see, to stamp in crushed curry ink, which I did. And also, let's see, um, it says to stamp in calypso coral on the small butterfly mm -hmm. on this small butterfly piece here but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna um, change it up a bit and let's see adhere to stamp butterfly using snail adhesive but I'm gonna be using the tombow glue okay I'm just putting a little down the center oops that's a little too much that's gonna seep out through oops okay let's see let's, let's put a little there and adhering that butterfly die cut piece to the, the backing and I'm just gonna press it down a bit get the glue off my finger and then have him floating so you can see the thank you on the bottom okay then let's put our vellum piece to the card base time sake I've also done that and I've all I did was put a little snail adhesive around the back and adhered that piece together okay so that's that piece and we're gonna adhere this on top of here so again we'll be using the multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to put a little here, 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 so it's not so tied down to the card base. Oh, it adhered very well to them. Not very well, but so it's more like a floating butterfly. That and then I'm gonna put our butterfly, medium sized butterfly, down here. So, again, I'll put it with let's see, can you see it? No, you can't really see that I used the multi purpose glue here. I can see very see it through there. So, I'm just putting a little on there. Again, I'll put a little down the center of the butterfly and then a little on the side. Okay. And then I'll adhere this on top of here. Right here. And then the baby butterfly. Okay. Again, a little bit of the tombow glue. 
stamp this and I'm going to use let's see it says to stamp it with either the basic black or the jet black stays on ink so I'm going to use the jet black stays on ink Down hard enough. Let's see if I oh, let's do the top first. Okay. Oops, I got it on my finger and on this block. So I put this up here. Okay. And let's see if I can't fix this guy without messing it up too much um, one thing about photopolymers you can see where you're stamping but can't see that much through let's see how well I did oh I got it off a little but that's okay okay then also let's go ahead since we have our, our ink pad open Take one of the die cut pieces out and stamp thank you on it. Okay. Okay. And our thank you on here. Okay. Mm, this is a little too far down. Let's Turn him over and try that again. Okay. I can't really see on white on white. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, put it close our ink. Okay. Then this card is almost done. Let's see, it says to stamp in jet. Uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna snail the adhesive him on. Okay, put him right there. Put him a little bit under the butterfly. And about here. Okay. Then I told you the butterfly, I'm not going to stamp it like the, they're showing here to use one of the stamps that um, look like they're using part of this um, fancy loops there on top of the butterfly. But what I'm going to do is use some pearls. Okay, so if I find my paper piercer. Okay. I can get some of these butterfly, I mean these pearls onto the butterfly. Okay. I don't think I need four. Okay. Cut one of these guys off. Okay. So that's that card. See that if you can see that gold thread there coming in the back of the butterfly and this butterfly is floating. I changed up the butterfly with pearls instead of the stamping. And that's the four cards to this tin of cards kit project kit. And we'll be using from the stamp set. Let's see, I think I'll use this guy here and let's go with the birthday. 
Okay, so. Crafters, I'm back with the divider. Okay, what I'm going to use is the jet black ink. Okay, and stamp the, first the divider. The top portion, and because this is white and my backing was white, I put a little piece of cardstock so you can see exactly where I'm stamping. Okay. Stamp that. Okay, and then and put birthday right in there. Okay, so birthday. So now I have my divider that I can put this close this guy. So I have my dividers. And then I can put all my different cards, so my birthday one, I'll put it behind my birthday, and then I'll probably make thank you and hello, all the different dividers, and then you can put them right in your tin of cards, can, that they gave you. Okay, so this was the tin of cards project kit.